Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple and easy method to use the iPhone Shortcuts app in order to create QR codes that can share your Wi-Fi password, contact information, or even a link to a website with a few touches of a button. Now, if you haven't seen a QR code before, you're probably just not paying attention because they are literally everywhere nowadays. Businesses have been using them more and more to communicate links to their websites. Sometimes they appear on business cards as a way to share contact information. I've even seen them used to communicate the network and password information for a Wi-Fi network at a business or Airbnb, something like that. They can be extremely useful in all sorts of environments and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create those codes using the iPhone Shortcuts app that's built in and part of iOS. We'll use the Shortcuts app to create three particular use cases for QR codes, a Wi-Fi network and password that can be shared, a contact that can be shared electronically, and a link to a website that can be shared with anyone who scans that code. So without further ado, let's jump into it. First thing you need to do is locate the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. Now, if you haven't seen it before, it's kind of a modified S, but you can find it by swiping down from the top of the home screen and typing in Shortcuts if you're not sure where it's located. Once you've located it, you can open it up and you probably don't have any there unless you've used the program before. When you tap the Create Shortcut button, you'll see an interface that's very graphical and easy to program. Now there are thousands and thousands of use cases for this. You can create a shortcut that just opens an app or checks the weather or sends a message to your favorite someone. One of the great things about the shortcuts is they can be launched directly from the home screen of iOS or even from the shortcuts menu. Let's start with the Wi-Fi network and password information. In order to create the QR code, it's really as simple as three steps. The first thing we're gonna do is add a text function to it. So from the search bar above, we're gonna type in text and choose the text option that populates first in the results field. In the text box, you can literally put anything that you want, but if you want it to be recognized by a phone as Wi-Fi information, then you need to follow this particular naming convention. You can see here that you need to declare it as Wi-Fi and you need to put in the SSID or the network name and the password that you're going to use. By default, it also requires the encryption method, but most people nowadays are using WPA encryption, so you can just leave that as it is, put in your network name and your password for the Wi-Fi network you wanna share, and it should be ready to go. The next step is to generate the QR code. So you're gonna hit the plus sign again, you're gonna type QR into the search box, or you can also type generate, and you'll find an option that says generate a QR code. You're gonna choose that option and you don't have to do anything else to that function block in the programming. Lastly, we're going to add the quick look function. So I'll tap the plus sign again and use the search box to search quick look. As soon as you start typing, you can see it becomes the top option on the list. So I'll tap that and what that quick look is gonna do is preview that QR code for us so that we can output it to some other function. We could just share it with someone right there or we could send it by text or email airdrop, all sorts of different options. With that added, we can click next and type a name for our shortcut. You can put whatever you want. It's just the name that you'll refer to it later and then click done and it's ready to be used. One tap and you can see that the QR code is displayed. Now all you need to do is use another iPhone or even an Android phone to read the code and your information will be communicated. It'll ask you, do you wanna join this network? And when you tap join, it'll automatically put in the network name and the password and connect that person to the Wi-Fi. It's pretty incredible how simple it is. The next code we're going to create is one for sharing contact information. This will add a new contact to an Android or iPhone when you communicate the information that you want in it. Now the format of the message for the contact is the most important difference from the Wi-Fi example I showed before. And all you need to do is make sure that you follow the format of the V-card and it'll be communicated properly when you share that QR code with someone else. The first step is just like the other, create a new shortcut and create a text element that we're gonna populate with our message. Here's a list of the most common syntax that you need, the different code bytes or 
tags that you need to do in order to add the information that you want. You simply replace the information in those pointy brackets with the information that you want to convey. Here's an example if you were to use some of my bald guy DIY information instead. Now that you know what information you want to put in there, you can either type it manually into that text element or copy and paste it from somewhere else into that shortcuts app and it's now part of the text element. From there, it's just as simple as adding the generate QR code and quick look functions. And before you know it, it'll work exactly the same as the Wi-Fi example that I showed before. Now, all you need to do, follow those two steps, add your shortcut name and then run it. And the QR code that you create will now be viewable by other users as a prompt to add a new contact. If you fill this out properly, it's very easy for a new friend or business associate to simply add that information and have your contact there with all of its relevant details ready to go without having to type it in themselves. It can be extremely helpful and easy to use and only takes a moment to scan it in with their phone. This works perfect if you were to outport this also and use this image file on a business card. That way, instead of having to type your information in, they can flip the card over, scan the QR code on the back, and in almost a blink of an eye, they'll have all your relevant contact information stored on their device. It works great on iPhone and Android. I've tested it with both and it was very successful. The last one I'm gonna show you is the simplest. That's because the message itself doesn't need to be in a very complicated format. And that's to share a URL or web link with someone using a QR code. You're gonna start again within the shortcuts app, create the shortcut, start with our familiar text element and in the text box, you're simply gonna put in the name of the website. Now you don't have to put in the HTTP colon slash slash part. That part's gonna be added automatically. All you need to do is put in the actual domain name. So if your domain name requires the www, you'll put that in. Otherwise, you could just put in the domain itself, such as baldguydiy.com. As you probably guessed, the next two steps are really simple. You're gonna again add the generate QR code element, and also add the quick look element, and click next, put your shortcut name, done, and it's ready to launch the QR code. Now when you scan this code with an Android or iOS phone, you'll be prompted to open a link in the default web browser, and when you click that link, you'll be taken to wherever that link actually goes. You've probably seen this in restaurants, to link to their menu, especially during this COVID pandemic time where uh, people are trying to reduce their amount of contact with paper or plastic menus. And in many other places, businesses are using them as a way to prevent you from having to type in their domain name, especially if it can be kind of complicated. The QR code has all of the information needed and can immediately link you to that source. If you don't have one of those three pieces of information to share, you might think QR codes are kind of useless, but I actually take a different view of it because they can be incorporated in a lot of different places where you might want to have some fun with them. You could put the link to your website or your business contact information as a QR code on your vehicle or on your business front window. Or you could also turn it into a fun little scavenger hunt where at each location of the hunt, people would scan a QR code and either find a description or a link that they need to follow in order to solve the next part of the clue hunt. Once you start creating them, it's kind of addictive. So let me know in the comments what kind of creative things you come up with as use cases for these QR codes. There you have it, three simple ways to communicate different kinds of information using the QR code. You can also put anything else in those text boxes, but because the phone or whatever you're scanning it in with doesn't necessarily know how to interpret that information, for me, if I just put a random message in there, it'll try to open it in Safari on an iPhone but you could literally put anything you want and it will at least be encoded into the QR code. What your device does with it is something different. If you found this information useful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for many other ideas and projects, quick tips that I share. I post a new video every week, so be sure to check back regularly. If you wanna send me an email, my information's in the description below. You can also follow me on Twitter if you'd like. I try to reply to every comment, so please engage in the comment section below. And until next time, in all your DIY projects, encoded or otherwise, don't be afraid to be balder.